Tinubu is not different from Muhammad Buhari. Reaction as DSS denies Showare access to Kano. The officials of the Department of State Service on Thursday in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, allegedly denied the human rights activist Omoyelo Showare access to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, despite granting him a formal invitation. This was made known in a statement shared on his ex formerly Twitter account on Thursday. Sharing a document listing Showare among those expected to visit Kano on Thursday, Showare said visitation to Namdi Kano botched by DSS. Hashtag free Namdi Kano now. I spent several hours at that. Official DSS Nigeria headquarters in Abuja. I was invited by Union of Mazin Namdi Kano to pay him a visit in custody. However, after hours of ring maro, the DSS told me I can't see him today. This is the second time I am being denied lawfully ordered invis- in- in- invitation to Mazin visitation to Mazin Namdi Kano since his illegal abduction from Kenya. The official Barat regime continues to demonstrate intolerance towards lawful agitation for self-determination. Tinubu is not different from Buhari revolution now. Shawari was denied access to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, despite granting him a formal visitation in September 2022. Kano was arrested, or can I say that adopted on October 14th? Okay, Kano was arrested on October 14, 2015 on an 11-count charge bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of the formatory a matter, illegal possession of, of firearms and improper importation of goods, among others. The IPOB leader is being prosecuted over an allegation of treasonable felony preferred against him by the federal government. He is facing seven counts after eight counts was struck out by the court. So guys, what's your take on this? Human rights activists and the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, in the 2023 general elections, Omoyelo Shoare was on Thursday denied access by the Department of State Service to see the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano, who had requested for the visit. Shoare, who recounted his counter, at the DSS facility in Abuja, demanded the immediate release of Namde Kano, while embarrassing President, the President Bola Metunubo led Nigerian government for towing the lawless path his prestigious Mas, eh, Muhammad Buhari took on Kano's continued detention against court orders. The human rights activist and Revolution Now convener said, that he was invited by Kano to, to visit him, but after hours of ring morrow, the DSS denied him access to Kano, pointing out that it was the second time of being denied lawful ordered uh, visitation to Namde Kano. Hashtag free Namde Kano now. I spent several hours at the official. DSX Nigeria headquarters in Abuja. I was invited by Onyendo Mazin Namde Kano to pay him a visit in custody. However, after hours of ring marrow, the DSX told me I cannot see him today. This is the second time I am being denied lawful ordered visitation to Mazi since his illegal abduction from Kenya. The official BAT regime continues to demonstrate intolerance towards lawful agitation for self-determination. 
Tinubu is not different from Muhammad Buhari, Shawari wrote on his ex, formerly known as Twitter. Sahara reporters had days ago reported that Kanu said he would no longer beg the Nigerian government for his release after being cleared by Justice Binta Inyako of a federal high court in Abuja. In a letter dated August 25th, 2023, and signed by Kano's lead counsel, Mike Uzekume san made available to newsmen on Monday, the legal practitioner had bemoaned the, the deplorable condition of Kano's detention facility in the custody of the Department of State Service. The lawyer had asked the chief judge of the Federal Capital Territory High Court to appoint a magistrate to inspect the detention institution. Uh, detention institution, okay. According to Kano, begging for his freedom now would be an insult to the memory of the late Pa Maz Mbazurike Amechi, who, despite his age and ill health, repeatedly traveled from the southeast to Abuja pleading with the federal government to honor his dying wish, which was treated with this dream and was also not honored. Okay. Hmm. So very, very unfortunate that we are, we are in a country where they will make law. They are still the same people who breaks the law. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you.